are obsessed with the Connie Fife Show. It's about a lifestyle shift to move up or out. Hey, you want your jam? What's the one thing that really drives you? What makes you unstoppable? It's about opening a new door to live your dream. People give up way too early on their dreams. It's about enjoying the journey. It's about keeping it real. Damn, now the interviewee is interviewing the interviewer. I like this. It's all about you. I knew there was something else I wanted to do. Stop taking shit so seriously. Y'all can do this. Take an outrageous look at life and laugh. This is the Connie Fife Show. We love your voice. We love your jam. You need to be on radio. And now your host, Connie Fife. Well, hello, it's Connie Fife, your Unstoppable Diva, and you are here with us on the Connie Fife Show. I want to thank you for coming back each and every week. We we just continue to have phenomenal guests, and we get so excited around here, the, the production team. We, we, are, we just like, yes, we got this, we got this. And we're always booking these phenomenal guests that join us each and every week. And today is no exception. So to, with this today, she is the simplicity expert, the designer of the Keep It Super Simple framework, which are principles that are helping people change their focus so they can lead less complex and more rewarding lives. Sounds good already, right? So after spending two days as a high-functioning, award-winning executive, she herself experienced a life-changing event that forced her to stop and ask the question, what if there's a better way to live? Sought for expert commentation by media globally. I mean, she's been featured in many podcasts, Facebook Live, YouTube, blog articles, print media, live TV, radio. I mean, she is hitting the top of the charts as a writer and highly accomplished business woman. And she's doing it all sim- sim- with simplicity. She's a winner of the silver winner of the 2019 CV Awards for Women in Business. She's been nominated twice. Twice for the 2019 Top Female Author Awards. She's an exceptional woman of excellence from the Women's Economic Forum. She's a Telstra Woman of the Year. She is the WA Business News 40 Under 40, which the youngest recipient ever. And she's also represented by Talent Cotton Sierra. And she just released her most prized work yet, her new book titled Beyond Ah. Ah, so welcome to the Connie Five Show, Bronwyn Giorgino. Thanks, Connie. Uh, and after that sort of introduction, there's not really much or much else I need to say. Show's over. Show's over. <laughs> <laughs> now to take a bow. Take a bow. <laughs> so, I mean, I mean, you you are doing so many accomplished things. I mean, you're an accomplished woman. You have a new book coming out. You are speaking around around the world. You've been a former executive yourself, but you do this simplicity and you talk about living simply so a lot of people are saying oh come on Broadway like you really let our listeners know how you can do this and how you really can live simply and yet accomplish everything that you want to be accomplishing in life yeah it's interesting that's a great question uh and uh it's interesting how many assumptions people make around what I do and how I do it um and you know, a lot of people say, oh, my God, you know, you must be so busy um, because, you know, you've had, you've had a massive year and look at all the things that you've achieved and mm. you know, everything's going amazing. It must be out of control. It must be all these things. Um, and actually what all of that is is just a framework that we've been handed by other people that says this is how it must be. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I guess having you know had the experience that I had of my life completely shattering because I pushed myself too hard for too long and and completely broke, mm-hmm. and having to rebuild my life off the back of that, um, you know I, I really had to decide if I wanted to go back and do things in the same way or whether I could take the opportunity to say that's not working for me. Mm-hmm. So 
how can I do this differently? And that process of rebuilding and restructuring and I guess recreating allowed me to, you know, to really design the Keep It Super Simple framework. Um, and that's just a set of principles that help you to really see life more clearly, see the, the options in front of you and just, you know, guide your pathway more easily through that. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, simplicity for me is understanding my energy and, you know, what's going on with my energy. Is it low? Do I need to refuel it? And and then if I need to refuel it, what do I need to do to do that? So it's about really connecting, understanding the signals and the symptoms within my body and my system mm-hmm. that are constantly telling me, you know, constantly giving me messages right. about where I'm at, what I need, and then just really connecting with that and letting that guide, you know, how you do things. And I think really the results and, and the achievements that I've had in the past 12 months is, a, is an amazing example of how easily you can take your life in a different way without having that complete busyness, out of control, mm-hmm. you know, fatigue, tiredness, all of that sort of stuff. Right. Well, you're, you're, you're right. And you say, you know, we, we're groomed. We're groomed, you know, go off, get a good education, to, you know, and su- su- this definition of success is work a lot of hours and put in a lot of time and go, 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 go. I mean, that's really how we've been groomed to work. And that's, you know, what we've been taught that the definition of success is, but you, you truly are, I mean, really disrupting that message and saying, no, you don't have to do it that way. You Mm. can do it more simply. You can be in tune with you, with your body, and you can still have success. Mm. That's exactly right. Mm. I mean, you, you have, uh, this is your, your third book. And I know right, right behind you, the folks that will see this by video or see the, the graphic for your book cover, which is a lovely book cover. And, and voila, and there it is. <laughs> a little show and tell. Woo! That new book is here. Beyond, beyond, aha. So just a quick synopsis. What is this book about? Because it is your third book. Yeah, so this one uh, is a little bit different, um, which, you know, surprise, surprise, I do disrupt things, so why not write a book in a different way? Uh, Okay, so essentially what I was seeing a lot when I was out there in the world and doing my work is a lot of people um, grasping these resources that are out there in the world Mm -hmm. that teach them how to find their aha moments. And there's so many out there that are really good resources, but what I was finding was people were saying to me, I get these moments of clarity okay. and, and then nothing. Uh, mm. And they're stuck in them. You know, that it's like this massive revelation of, oh, my goodness, this about my life. And then the, their eyes are just sort of, you know, wandering around and, and it's that really lost look. Right. And so what I really wanted to do was create a resource that helps people to actually move through that more easily Mm. but also to create a resource that can help you to actually challenge the rules that you've been given in life and you've already talked about one of those today where you know we're taught there is no definition to success but we all take these actions and we do these things that get us trapped in we have to be busy we have to work long hours Mm. you know we have to have a commute we have to do all of these things otherwise we can't be successful Uh, you know that's a classic example yeah, guilty. You know, that's a classic example of a rule that we've been given that we we're not even conscious of. We just somehow our life falls into living that way. Mm. Uh, so this book is all about um, you know fifty two of those rules as examples of rules that we have in our life right. that can uh, affect you in different ways. Uh, And I've got a little bit of context written about those rules so that you can start to understand and maybe even get an aha moment around that might be running in your life and you don't know about it. And then what I've done is create a set of questions that you can start to ask yourself to start journaling through that process to understand what what that is in your life and how that's impacting your life and holding you back, maybe even making you small and creating a smaller version of yourself so that, you know, you're not the whole version of yourself out in the world. And I really wanted to do that so that I can start teaching people that they can think around these things, they can recreate those things for themselves and just completely smash those rules and create new rules that are theirs. 
So it's really consciously connecting with how you want to live your life around that area and what you want to do and how you can actually move away from the rules in a really simple and easy and kind way. Well, I, that that leads me into the the question that just came to mind. You you, you have people out there, you know. I, I'm strong. I'm healthy. I work out every day, but I'm working 20 hours a day, and I'm stressed, and I'm, you know, really not super eating right, but I'm okay. Yeah. But what is it that has to? What is that moment, that aha moment for them that's going to shake them up to say, wait a minute. I need to listen to Bronwyn. She has she has something to say here. And I think I need to listen to that before I yeah. have bend. <laughs> yeah. So th- there's a couple of things there that I would say. The first thing is if you're stressed, life's not under control. Mm. Uh, you know, if you are stressed, then there's something you need to look at. Okay. The okay. second thing I would say is one of my greatest discoveries is that there's three key pillars to health. The first is your mind the second is your body, and the Mm. third is the soul. And naturally, with the way that we're given conditioning and rules, Mm -hmm. and uh, most of us have taken at least one of those pillars off the table, if not two. Yeah. So, um, you know, in your example where you've said, you know, I'm exercising and I'm fit and, and, um, you know, and I'm working and, Mm. you know, I'm stressed and all that sort of stuff, then I would say that you've probably got the working, so you may have the mind done because you've got the mind involved in, you know, thinking around things Mm -hmm. and, um, you know, through your career and stuff like that. The body you're sort of looking after because you've got the fitness side, but you've said, "Mm, probably not looking after my food and my nourishment. Mm -hmm. So you've maybe got half the body pillar done, but there's no mention anywhere of the soul. So you've got a complete pillar missing. And when when you take a pillar out of the equation, the whole structure becomes weakened and or will collapse. Mm-hmm. So it's about understanding, you know, what where is the where are those pillars? Are they balanced? Are you looking mm-hmm. after all of them? Um, and what if you've taken something off the table, have a good look at why it's off the table and then work out how you can get it back on so that you're a whole person rather than just trying to power down to two lane ways. Right, right. Now that that's really, really good advice because a lot of people well, wait until it's too late. And then they're saying, okay, now what can I do where, you know, t- today and the stress that so many companies are under, I mean, and, and, and you've shared these statistics with me before, the percentage of people that are stressed in companies, you know, that leads to breakdowns and suicides and alcoholism and poor performance in, yeah. in the company, in the organization. And it's really, you know, um, Unfortunately, but we have to say, but it's up to the company to really step up to the plate because the people are under so much pressure, but it's also up up to the company to come up, you know, step up to the plate and say, okay, let's not have this stress on our people. And when we reduce the stress, we know performance will increase. So, you know, the leaders of companies really need to take, to take a step back to look at those numbers as well. Yeah, but I think the leaders of the company, first of all, they need to value Mm -hmm. They need to value the health of the organization and the health Mm -hmm. of the individuals within the organization. Right. And often that starts with valuing their own health Mm -hmm. Um, because, you you know, don't forget that, you know, we were having this conversation earlier, you know, that individuals run corporations, you know, and so Mm -hmm. individuals have had that same conditioning that all of us have in terms of that drive to success and, and getting stuck within that. So, um, you know, I think it's important for us to acknowledge that age-old ways have got us to where we are, but age-old ways will keep us stuck there. So we, we really need to disrupt and we need to do things differently. And there is a really easy way and a simple way to do that. Mm-hmm. Well, that also, you know, really, really good point because the leaders, they always say that the, the most lonely position is at the top. Yeah. And when you have that that also leads to more stress because you have more burden on you for the success yeah. of the organization. So it all does start at the top mm, and, it has to, and, has to, and has to work its way down from there. The Connie Five Show is heard everywhere. You can find The Connie Five Show on most of your favorite networks. It's time to now recognize and thank our major networks for all of their support. In the house, we have Conscious Business Radio, C-Suite Radio, Transformation Radio, 
iHeartRadio. We are also heard on Google Play, Apple, Radio, Stitcher, and so many more that I just can't keep up with them all. I'm Connie Pipe, your unstoppable diva. We'll learn more about our gym and how we can work together at my fancy schwanky website, ConnieFifeShow.com. I'll see you over there. Until then, like, 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 share, share, share. Now back to the show. So what? I mean, you have so many things going on, so many projects. Uh, living stress-free. Um, what, um, so what, what do you have going on next? What's coming up next? So at the moment, um, working with a number of different um, media organizations uh, on, a, on a project that's focused around, um, I guess we'll call it doing 2020 really differently. Oh. Um, you know, because we have this time of the year, you know, the focus starts to come on to the old New Year's resolutions right. and don't, don't we all love those and we all just make them with that, you know, that glass of bubbly in our hands and we're all completely dedicated in that moment and then usually within a week it falls off. our lives yeah. go exactly <laughs> back to where they were before. Right, right. Uh, and, um, you know, my belief is that it's because, we're making resolutions around the things that everyone's telling us we should be doing. Mm, mm-hmm. um, you know, and that, that usually comes loaded with the expectations of whether it's society or our family or our friends, you know, all of those sorts of things. And over right. time we've morphed and shaped ourselves to become the person that we think they need us to be. Mm, yes. And yes. that in itself creates an, an energy drain. Mm-hmm. So um, one of the things I'm working on is uh, this project to actually help people to start to change the way that they do things and do things a little bit differently in 2020. And we're going to start that with the way that people do their New Year's, New Year's resolutions. Oh, okay. Um, and as part of that, we've created uh, a free email series that's seven mm-hmm. steps to beat stress forever. Uh, and that is just, you literally just sign up through my website and it's a free email series. There's nothing you have to do except for put your name and your email in. Um, I don't believe in you have to buy this to get this free. It's just completely free. Right. Um, right. And it's just a series of seven different emails that can really start to get you thinking a little bit differently about different areas. So comfort right. zones, change, that's business that sort of stuff right um so that we can really start to take steps in a different way um and really understand that you know this thought process that you have to throw your entire life out to be able to actually make a change Mm. um is is completely ridiculous it's never going to happen and it doesn't need to happen you know, if you think about putting a compass on your hand, if you're walking north and you move one degree off north, where right. you will end up is significantly different. So apply the same principle to when you're wanting to do things differently. Just take one step in a different way and you'll okay. significantly change your life and where you end up. Mm-hmm. So this email series is all about that um, and okay. it's a great place for people to start when if they want to start thinking differently and doing things a little bit differently to significantly take their life in a different way. Wow, I, I love it. I mean, everything that, that you're doing. So we have a couple questions here. This is our straight talk time. Yeah. <laughs> so, so finish this sentence for me. And I am unstoppable because? Because I'm me. Mm, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I guess also because I know who I am. You know, True. I'm 100% connected to her, who I am. Right. Um, and because of that, you know, there literally is nothing that mm-hmm. stops. And then the, the next question really leads to something that you just said, that we, you know, we're out there, uh, you know, trying to please, and a lot of us have that disease to please, and that creates greater stress because you're pleasing yeah. and trying to do what other people want you want you to be doing so how can someone then turn that around change that to truly live a life with intention Mm. i think um the easiest way to do that is to stop trying to be a better person stop we have this stop trying to be a better person oh okay okay so from the from the beginning of time there's been this focus on being a better something whether it's a Mm -hmm. 
be, you know, better at hunting, better at whatever through, right. through the ages of time. Now it's about being a better person and doing more for others and, you know, being more intelligent and being better on, on the treadmill or whatever it is. We've, we've, we're absolutely, you know, so focused on trying to be a better person. And I would say instead of being a better person, become a whole person. Oh, Find the parts okay. of yourself that you have shut away because somebody's mm-hmm. told you they're not appropriate. Somebody said that's not acceptable, that's good, that's bad, right. that's appropriate, that's not. Find the pieces of yourself that you've hidden when someone has done that to you Yes, and bring them back into the light, bring them back into who you are because most of us get to this point in our life where we feel like something is missing and we go out there and we try and get a personal trainer or we go and do that course to improve our mind or we go and do an MBA because that's the thing that's missing on our CV or whatever it is. But you have to remember that all of the things that you reach for will be within the approved zone of what you've been handed by other everyone else is appropriate. So you're only, you're only reinforcing areas of yourself that are already there. Mm-hmm. You need to find the pieces that you've hidden away because that's the piece that's missing. Bring those back together and become a whole person right. and right. it will make your life so much easier. Yeah, I mean, and, and people people can be mean-spirited sometimes. And, and like you said, you know, certain things are said to us and they trigger something and we, you know, we, 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 we block it away. And, but like you saying, you know, bring, bring that out. Um, let that be meaningful to, to your life and to who you are. But that also leads into, you know, who are the truth tellers that you're circling yourself around, you know, your cabinet of truth tellers. And I think that's really important to have too, as well to, to protect yourself and also to protect those um, around you so that you are living a stress-free, stress-free life. So, like, for you, like, you know, do you have that certain group of truth tellers that you really like to embody yourself with? Yeah. So, it's really important, I think, to surround yourself with the people <laughs> who will have a conversation with you. And that conversation isn't always about you're amazing or you know, no. this is wrong, this is wrong with you. That's wrong with you. Right, they're, no. they're the people that can that can pull you off your course. Yeah, the people mm. I have around me that that I really listen to and whose words I will really look at are the ones who will say they'll help me to unpack whatever has come up. So if mm. I've if I've got a moment of oh wow okay that's interesting. These people will have the conversation with me and they'll say, okay, well, what about this? What about that? Have you considered mm. this? You, do, you you know, I've noticed that you do this or you say this. Right. And then they'll have the conversation with you and there's never any judgment in what they're saying. They, and they're literally just having an explorative conversation with you to allow you to come to your own conclusions right. and to allow you to integrate whatever you need to integrate in your way. Mm. Um, you know, they're the people that I have around me. They're the ones that I listen to. They are my go-to gang. Right. Um, and I always have, um, you know, the same group of people who, you know, when I really need to just down tool and just have a laugh and have a good time, it's always the same people. Um, you know, and, and I trust them. You can have, you can be yourself, you can say whatever, and there's never any, angst taken or you know it's mm-hmm. always in good fun nobody's hurt nobody's feelings get hurt nobody none of that sort of stuff it's just um complete simplicity in the moment with them it's simplicity uh, and it's, it's it's that moment of trust and like is yeah. it, you could sometimes we just need to download yeah and you know you know it's really great to know that you have somebody there without judgment yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, and I have a handful of those people and yeah. they've been in my life for a long time. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. and, and that relationship has grown um, over a long period of time. 
uh, and has always been the structure and the foundation. You know, they're the ones mm-hmm. that when I was it, when I was really broken, they gave me the space that I needed yeah. um, and just held that space in love for me. Right. Without without stepping in and trying to fix everything, they just allowed me to work through that. But I knew that they were there. They're yes. they're the ones. They're the people that you want in your life. Who are they? Yes. They they give you energy. They don't take your energy. They don't drain your energy. That's right. Um, and they come in and out of your life as you need them to. And they just allow you to live in that space and in that moment. Yeah, and that's all. Tr- that's all true. I, I have my, my, and there's some other people too that come in and out. You know, over my lifetime, I have a core group from from high school, and again, we come in and out of each other's lives. You know, there's different events that happen that that take place that go on, but we're always there for each other. And even if you don't talk to them for six months, you know, you can pick up the phone and call them. Exactly. And it's just, it's, you know, like you said, that, that trust that we built with people over time. And it's just so wonderful to know that we have those people there, but we also learn, as you've said, those that don't, those that really, um, you know, the shame, the negative speak, um, you know, that, that gremlin message that we get from some people. And I think that also comes with age as well that you learn that mm, no i don't i don't need to go there you know like yeah so. i think also that you know it's important not to judge that either yeah i see that as an amazing opportunity to um identify the characteristics mm-hmm. that you aren't yeah so when that comes up it's like and you see that take the person out of the equation and just look at the action and the and the characteristic mm-hmm. on its own without the person involved and right Literally, it's a matter of, well, you know, actually that's not a characteristic I identify with. Right. You know, so say, you know, somebody that's being really nasty, mm-hmm. you know, I'm not nasty. I see I see that characteristic, I'm not nasty. Right. I'm really loving and kind. I'm actually connecting with that. Mm-hmm. So it's not about the person. They're, they're, you, know, you have no idea what people are here, you know, what lessons they need to learn in their lifetime for them to work through to be the greatest version of themselves. Right. So, or what they're going really important. through themselves at that moment exactly. in time as you know, well. Mm-hmm. And we just need to allow people to actually work through their stuff as well. Yeah. It's not, you know, life is not just about us, but we have the opportunity to make ourselves the greatest version we can be. Right, um, right. So the best way to do that is through non-judgment. Right, and not to be non-judgmental. So if there was a song about you, what would it be? <laughs> uh, well, life would be simple. <laughs> mm, okay, she's already got the notes there. <laughs> you didn't have a perfume called Simplicity to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> so we already have it. So we already have it out. So we're, we're just about out of time. So is there, besides letting people know where to find you in O'Brien and Chortino, um, I know you're all over social, you know, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. And then again, you have your, your, your program, the seven steps to beat stress forever, where they can get that at bronwinchortino.com. Is there yeah. anything else we need to let our listeners know about you? You know, it is really easy to have a life that is filled, you know, individually and specifically mm-hmm. designed for you. Uh, you just have to break through the rules and the condition that you've been given and have those moments of clarity and then be able to take the action to move through them. It really doesn't get any more complex than that. Um, you know, it's really just about having the clarity mm-hmm. of thought to know that you can move through things easily. Yeah, and, and, and I like to say when you live bravely that you are living your truth. And, and yeah, but when you actually live more easily and with simplicity, you don't need courage and discipline anywhere near as often. Life's so much easier. Okay. Um, you know, so the bravery and the courage makes it sound like it's really hard mm-hmm. and it's really not. So, you know, just think about it from the point of view of, oh, wow, I'm not going to have to live with courage and discipline and bravery anywhere near as often. Let's just have a little bit of that at the beginning so you can take a few steps. Mm-hmm. Once you're through that, it just becomes a habit and, and because it supports life so beautifully and so easily, right. it just becomes natural. I love it. I love it. So, Bronwyn, I want to thank you for being here. I, I know it's early morning for you in, in Australia, but I, I, I just, my, my heart is full uh, just being able to work with you and the work that you were doing for so many people. And I want to thank you for that. 
Thanks, Connie. I love, love, love our conversations. And um, I, ju- I just know that there's people out there who are going to have such an amazing life mm. as a result of taking a few really simple steps. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So, well, that's all we got for today, everyone. I want to thank you for being here and keep following us and sharing with us on all of your favorite social platforms. We are the Connie Fife Show. And I'm going to leave you with this for, with today is when we touch a heart, we change a life. When we live simply, the stress just washes away. When we change a life, that's when we do become unstoppable together. You're listening to The Connie Five Show, and I'm Connie Five. Have a great week, and always be kind to each other. Bye-bye. Hey, y'all, it's Connie Five. Thank you for listening to The Connie Five Show. Check back often. You don't want to miss any of the good stuff. If you like what you hear and would like to be a guest on the show, head over to theconnyfightshow.com to apply. While you're there, check out our amazing advertising opportunities that will put you right in front of your perfect client. I will see you over there. Do yourself a favor this week. Activate your power and be unstoppable together. 